What's going on, everyone? So, we're all anxiously waiting around for Terrifier 3. Um, this is highly anticipated. It's really become this, like, almost movement in a lot of ways. It's been very fascinating to watch, you know, the original Terrifier kind of be this, like, random, like, in the back catalog of, like, Netflix and, you know, uh, all these streaming platforms to like now being in the mainstream uh, front and center and kind of developed this cult following and people just absolutely loved it and then you see the second one and Damien Leone has really turned this into a, a real serious horror franchise and it's it's great to see you know Damien Leone great guy um I've had the the privilege of talking to him a few times um and just various comments and stuff like that and you know through social media and stuff so really like uh He's just very open, right? And he's excited. He's getting to live out his dream. And I think it's it's awesome to see. Uh, and it's a great franchise too, right? I mean, there's a, a it has success because it has been successful, right? Like a lot of terrible movies out there in the world that are just like, you know, you're just like, yeah, all right, well, that was fun while it lasted. But this is something that I do think that there is a real attachment to that people really do enjoy and can see this being this long-standing horror franchise and you know hopefully we get you know terrifier seven eight nine ten um obviously you want to maintain the standard right obviously you don't want it to to fall into this like it just becomes ridiculous or just you know becomes something that it currently isn't but as long as he can maintain and, and tell good stories and develop good characters and you know give us art the clown and kind of dive into various lore and stuff like that right like it's it's there's a lot of directions i think that uh damien can really get into it and dive into and so i for one am really excited for obviously terrifier 3 but just the franchise in general and just the future of the franchise and, and how many movies does he pump out you know and at some point does he just sell the rights and let a bigger studio do it or something like that you know it'll be interesting but again i, I love to see the the success he's having with the terror franchise but waiting around for a um trailer right there's been a lot of talks about a trailer trailer coming soon trailer coming soon trailer coming soon now it looks like based on kind of the word that's going around always take this stuff with a grain of salt because you never know you don't want to be disappointed went through the same thing with uh what was it scream six i think it was, it was scream five or scream six i think it was scream six where uh word going around that we were going to get a trailer and then uh lo and behold it wasn't a trailer um, and then, like, even the Scream, I think it was Scream, because they were doing the countdown. Remember, there was a big countdown, and then it was like, oh, it's for the trail, the trail's coming. And then it wasn't, it was for, like, a poster. <laughs> Whichever Scream that was. Remind me in the comments uh, which Scream that was. But I thought, that, like, it's kind of, I'm like, uh, ever since that day, I'm just like, oh, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remain patient. But hopefully, we actually do get um, the Terrifier trailer. That would be great. Uh, it is expected to be out on Monday. And, you know, if we can get that trailer on Monday, then, yeah, definitely I'll talk about it. We'll dive into it, kind of analyze it. Obviously, you know, speaking on the trailer, as with all trailers, hopefully it doesn't give away the meat and potatoes, right? Hopefully it just, just gives you enough because trailers nowadays really have this habit of, like, giving you all the good stuff, like, from the jump, <laughs> right? And speaking of Scream, it's one of the things that I really... I liked in particular with Scream 5 um, that we were getting all those trailers. Remember, we we're getting a ton of different trailers and all those trailers like they like edited it. So it, it was actually things that like didn't really happen the way that it looked in the in the in the trailer. And then also there were things that like, you know, like the Chrome ghost face that they were kind of uh you know, putting out there and making it seem like that was going to be a big fixture in the film. And turns out like, no, it was just like a little background video. Like, you know, like all those little things, you know, the, the misdirections I enjoy. I like, I don't mind getting something right. Cause it is this tough balance, right? You want to draw in an audience. You want to get an audience excited. You want to get people based like ready to, to sell, you know, or trade their money in for a ticket. But you also don't want to give away too much of the film. You don't want to spoil the film to where it's like, ah, man, we watched all this stuff in the trailer, right? So my that's always my concern when looking at, you know, these trailers. Um, you know, I'm in a position to where I 
have no choice. You know, that's why I understand why a lot of people are like, ah, I don't want to watch these types of videos. I don't even want to watch the trailer, none of that stuff, because they don't want to have things spoiled. And I get it. Again, we live in a in a day and age where like trailers, I mean, trailers become cliff note versions of the film. But it's not even like not even like just to entice you. It's literally like cliff note version. You might as well just watch the trailer and just be done with it. So I'm hoping that that's not the case here. I'm hoping that, you know, with the Terrifier trailer, you know, you get a, get a little, little, little hit, little dose of like, hey, here's some stuff. Keep some mystery. You know, maybe tease us a little bit with a thing or two here and there. But overall, in general, I really do hope it's it's just like, you know, here's art. Here's you know, what, what the deal is, here's, you know, the, the characters that are returning, and, and, you know, just kind of, again, give you a quick little montage thing, right, I understand that you get, like, the teaser trailer, and then you usually get the full trailer and stuff like that when you're talking about films and stuff, but, like, I just, again, like, just, we don't need a ton, right, like, I've talked about, even, like, with other horror franchises, like, just give us a trailer almost like, um, like a slideshow that's just like, you know, here's all the characters, here's like one crazy scene, you know, like, uh, but it's not like a main scene or anything, it's just like, here's like a, a crazy moment that's going to get you excited, and then, you know, close it out, essentially, or you could do that from the beginning, you know, here's the, the crazy scene that's going to get you excited, you know, it's like a quick little 10 second clip or something like that, boom, here you go, and then just like a slideshow of the characters almost. And then there you go. You know, like you're, you're done. I, I just, you know, because to, to basically get a, essentially a slideshow of, you know, all the top moments in the film. It's just like, you know, obviously there's usually more added to it and stuff. But still, it's just like you, you there's been so many things. I mean, speaking of Scream, where like they... You know, they some of the trailers revealed the killer, right? Like, you know, stuff like that, or revealed some of the interest. A lot of films have done that. Revealed the twist. You know, you go and you you're expecting a, a film to have this like big twist, and it's like, oh man, the twist. I saw the twist in the trailer, right? So I'm hoping that that's not the case here with Terrifier, and that um, you know, they they keep us engaged and do a good job because, again, I'm excited for the film. Um, you know, and you know, obviously, you know it's become habit enough to where people don't, people are still going to go see the movie, right, so it doesn't really like, but it just ruins the experience, right, like, when you know kind of everything that goes on, you know, like, you know, you look at things like, like, Spider-Man, right, when, when, uh, Tobey Maguire and, and everyone came, right, it's just like, if, yeah, we knew about it if you're following closely to the news, but, like, if you would have had that in the trailer and it spoiled it, right, like, and you just see the three of them talking and hanging out in the trailer. It's like, ah, oh, man, there goes the the suspense with that, right? Like, you know, like you just look at all these movies that have done that. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, you know, are you excited for the upcoming Terrifier? Are you excited to see Art the Clown uh, back in action? Um, what do you think of the trailer coming up? Um, are you going to watch the trailer? Are you one of those people that's like, ah, you know, not my best interest to watch trailer. I'm going to actually not do that. <laughs> Take a step back. Um, cause again, I, I completely get it. And again, I'll do a video breakdown of like the trailer and kind of give my thoughts and opinions on the trailer, like, like per usual, but are you somebody that's in the camp of like, you know, yeah, no, like I'm going to watch trailer. I'm excited for it. What do you think of the terrifier franchise? What do you think? of What do you think of art? The clown, like as far as like a villain and just, you know, uh, a, killer goes like the supernatural elements and empty um you know do do you want see, that's another real question i should make a actual independent video about it but you know do you how much do you want us to know about art right because it kind of seems like it's heading in the direction of kind of like revealing the lore and the backstory and kind of the the origins of art and all that stuff or do you kind of like the mystery because i kind of go back and forth with that all the time i'm like ah really like the mystery but, you know, it would be cool to kind of know about art. Um, so, like I said, I might make that a dedicated video. But, you know, again, how, how do you feel about the the franchise art? Um, you know, how many films do you want this to, to go into? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are. Good, bad, somewhere in between. Um, let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. 
helps me not. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.